Hello guys, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Lethal company is having crashing issue It is not launching, won't launch Freezing, stuttering, lagging Low FPS drop Stuck on the screen And even black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now And how we can fix this up So let's dive into the workaround The first one is all about when you are having this trouble We have to start with a simple restart so this is actually not a fix, but you can try this out. So just go over here in the search over here. I mean, go to the start, click on this particular icon, go for the restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. This is what you have to do as the first step. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about what we can try is we just need to verify integrity of game file. So uh, for verify integrity of game file, which is going to take a little bit of time, even though I'll be showing you this. So this is actually a very important step. So what happens is when you do this, you will the every uh, it will be cross checking every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, which is one of the main reason why we are having this issue will be fixed by this. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties and we have to go to the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So uh, this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and will not be having any kind of issues hereafter. So this is what we have to do. And once you're done with this one, just try launch the game and you can see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the, uh, you know, not from the Steam, but we have to launch the game from the installation folder. This even work for many users, you can try this out as well. So in order to navigate to the installation folder, we have two methods. One, just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the browse, which will take you to the installation folder. If you check over here at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, lethal company. Now from here we have to launch the game. So this even worked for many users, you can try this out. So uh, sometimes you know we launch the game from the Steam, that is might be causing the issue. So we have to launch the game from here. Next one, hence we're in the installation folder. I'm gonna show you two more steps which can be done. One among us, we have to run the game as an administrator. So just right click over here and go to the show more options, go to the properties. Go to compatibility, click on run this program as administrator, go for apply and go for ok and try, that will be working fine. If that is not working, we have to try next one, that is we have to run the game in, we have to run the game in the compatibility mode, so just right click, we have to go to show more options, go to properties, go to the compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, we have to set this to Windows 7, we have to set this to Windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok. If Windows 7 is not working, try with Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK. You can try either Windows 7 or you can try with the Windows 8. You can try any one of the things and that will be working. So these can be done and this even worked for many uses. We can try this out as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to make sure that we have to make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here. Now just go over here and navigate to settings. Just search for settings like this. Now from here go to time and language, go to date and time, make sure the time zone and time should be automatically turned on and also make sure this is synced and also go back and over here in the region, we have to select the country according to your geography. For example, if you're from United States, you have to select United States and if you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom and that is what we have to do. So once you set this up, just close everything over here and we have to go back, try launch the game and you have to see. Next one, we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This worked for many users, so you can try this out. So you can try, just launch the game and press Alt and Tab, which will be working fine as well. Next one is all about, we have to delete the saved game file. So this even worked for many users, you can try this out. So just go over here in the file explorer and navigate to this PC and go over here in the documents. Now from here we have to navigate to, over here you have to check this, for example like Diablo 4, Overwatch, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, you'll be having the folder here or else we have to go to the My Games and you'll be having the folder here in the folder. So delete the folder and keep in mind when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. So once you're done with this one, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. 
Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. We have to navigate to control panel. Now from here, navigate to system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to the game Lethal Company. So keep scrolling down. And over here you can see the lethal company is already uh, over here and you have to make sure both the private and public both has to be selected which is very important so in most cases what happens is when you do this you will be uh, you have to keep in mind when you do uh, this is have to be here sometimes this will not be here so if that is the case we have to add the game so just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse now navigate to the installation folder that is local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam go for navigate to steam apps go for common now from here we have to navigate to lethal over here lethal company and select this one and we have to add it so i'll be getting the error because the game is already added so once you add the game we just need to close everything over here and we have to try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not if you're still having the issue then we just need to move to the next one that is all about we have to unclick all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of things. We might be connected with multiple monitors, multiple connectors might be connected, even joysticks might be connected. So even these all things cause the issue up. So just unplug everything. And once unplug is done, everything is done. Once afterwards, we just need to try and that will be working fine as well. So we have to do is the next one, try launch the game and we have to see. Next one is we have to try performing a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. We have to go for system configuration. So just search for, uh, sorry, have to search for uh, system. Sorry, I'll be typing this. Just search for system configuration. Just open this one. Now from here, go to services. Go for disable all. Go for hide all Microsoft services and go for apply and go for OK. And over here, as you can see, we have to go for exit without restart. So the users who are watching this, we have to go for restart. But I'm going to go for exit without restart. And once afterwards, try launching the game and you have to see. Next one is all about nothing but we have to try. We have to update the graphics card, which is a very important step. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both official graphics card, which means the users will be having either NVIDIA or AMD. So I'll be providing both. The NVIDIA users has to go over here and select everything like you should be selecting your product type, product series should be selected and product should be selected and operating system if you're on Windows 10 select this one and if you're on Windows 11 download this one. You can select everything over here and go for start search. Now from here once you go for start search you can see the driver version is 546.17 and which is released on November 14, 2023. And you have to download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game and if you're on the amd just go over here and select every details over here and go for submit and as you can see if you're on windows 11 download this one and if you're on windows 10 you can try downloading this one and try installing and restart and that will be working fine as well next one we have to try installing the microsoft you should see plus plus which will be working in most cases because that is why i'm recommending you can try these as well so if you're on the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 download this one try and try to install and most probably that will be working as well next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game so right click and go to the properties and we have to navigate to over here make sure if it is enabled we have to disable this try launch the game if that is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to Give the commands in the launch option. So here we have to give the command. The first command is DX11. Start with DX11. So if DX11 is not working, try with DX12. So either the DX11 will be working or we have to try with the DX12 and any one of the things will be working and you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to navigate to task manager over here. Now from here, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. So what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things, which is very important. So just remove the unwanted things. And uh, for example, Discord, Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, all these comes under the, you know, all these comes under the category of overlay and overclocking application. So that is why we are having the crashing issue. So just remove everything. And once you're done with this one, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. 
Next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card which is a very important step. So just go over here and search for graphics settings. So search for graphics settings. Just open this one. Now from here you can see we have to add the game. So just click on the browse. Now from here we have to get to this PC. Go to local list C. Go to program file x86. Go for Steam. Navigate to Steam Amps and we have to go to common. Now from here we have to navigate to lethal company. Select this one and go for add. And once it is added, just go over here in the option, set this to high performance and go for save, which is very important. Once you're done with this one, if you're still having the issue, that you're still having the crashing issue, I would recommend you can try increasing the virtual memory. Just go over here in the search and you have to search for view advanced system settings. Go for view advanced system setting, go to the advanced, go for settings, go to advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed, go for custom size. Set the value initial size and 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here, we need a calculator, so just search for the calculator and we have to type 32 GB is my RAM. So I have to type 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we, we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. So 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98, 3 not 4 so just copy this and we have to paste it as well. So once you're done with this one and it is done everything should be done and once afterwards try and that will be working fine as well. Next one we have to update the windows so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to settings. Now from here we have to navigate to windows update. Just update the windows and make sure the windows is up to date because for running these kind of games it should be up to date which is a very important one and you can try this one as well. Even tried with this if the issue is still there you can try uninstalling and reinstalling the game. So just go over here go to the manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back it should not be installing back on the same local disk from which uninstall you can try a new local disk and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.